Today we will be discussing about data time. Suppose you have kept 1 kg of apple in this basket. Now if you have to store 10 kg of apple then you will be needing a bigger basket. According to the size of item you are choosing the container. Similarly in computer memory is a container. Now imagine the memory as a big cube which is made of many small blocks and each block has the same size. Let's take one example to understand how our data will be stored in memory based on its data type. Here int age equals to 20, int is the data type, age is the variable and 20 is the data. I have already talked about variable in details in my previous video. Please check the link in the description below. Now we need 4 bytes or blocks in memory to store a int type of data. Since 1 byte equals to 8 bit means 4 byte equals to 32 bit means each block is having a tiny section in that way 4 byte or 4 block means it is having 32 tiny section inside it now computer stores 20 by converting into binary 20 is 10100 in binary so let's make this 10100 a 32-bit data by appending extra 27 zeros in front of it. This is how it looks when computer stores 20 as a binary in its 4 byte of memory. Appending 0 in front of 1 doesn't change the value, right? That's why we have added 27 zeros in front of 10100 to just make it as a 32-bit data. Similarly, for all other data types, memory will be allocated according to the required number of bytes or bits. Now, let's have a look at how many types of data types are there. We have mainly primitive and non-primitive data types, where primitives are the most basic and used for data manipulation. We have 8 different types of primitive data type, boolean, char, byte, short, int, long, float, double as you can see in the chart. Whereas non-primitive are the user defined data types created by us except for the string one because we have in total five non-primitive data types string, array, class, object, interface where string is the only one which is already predefined by Java. For your reference in this table all the default value and size of each data type has been mentioned. If you have any queries, please put that in the comment section below. I will get back to you. That's all for today folks. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, keep learning with the Geeky Coder.